and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel bringing you just another video. So guys, we have the Braytech armor finally for the hunter. I mean, we've got it for the uh, war. You guys have seen that. Um, awesome looking set. Um, I do like the cloak. I think it's a real shame because that helmet is freaking awesome. Uh, I think it's a shame that the the cloak covers it up. So what I, what I was thinking was something like something generic like this that looks really good. Now I've got the entire shader. I've got 20 odd pieces of the shader, so I can easily change that cloak over. Uh, so this is what I wear with the uh, uh, with the dead cure, uh, dead end cure. Um, it looks it looks pretty cool. I know it's not the right cloak for it, but anyway. Um, now I'm 348 at the moment, but I don't have any glimmer. <laughs> I've just been it's cost me so much. Um, I ain't got a mod in that. I don't have a mod in that. I don't have a mod in that. Um, so do I even have a mod? In? Yeah. So I've got three mods to add. So I'll be bumping. Um, above 350. I'm actually a bit higher than three. I can I'm, I can hit 350 with some other weapons and stuff. Um, real quick while we're here, I got the new um, Vigilance Ring ornament. Um, it's not bad. I think I think the Book of the Dead's better. Uh, this is Heaven's Vigil. Book of the Dead, I think looks great. The original, not bad, but Book of the Dead's my favourite. So anyway, let's get into look at this uh, what i'll do is i'll i'll swap cloaks so we can have a close look at the helmet but we might as well just have a quick look at the cloak while we're here uh the law this is our best this is our best work yet project manager bray tech r d so i was still talking about the armor and the suit i'm guessing it's a new type of armor for the uh, the snow and the ice and the cold um, obviously you'd want a hood like this the this is like based on real designs uh, thick and padded high collars to cover the neck um I'm sorry about the banging, someone's doing some work next door outside, I do apologise ladies and gentlemen if you can hear that, I will filter out background ambient noise like I don't usually do. Um, it's a shame that this this cloak covers up the mask, because look at the mask, it, you know, it looks like you've got like a rebreather, uh, very Star Wars-y. Um, just going off topic real quick, I've got nearly all this set, the Insight Rover mask, so the Insight Rover set, um, again that's very Star Wars as well. Um, <laughs> I just just jumping out there, but we'll uh, we'll do that as soon as I've got the full set. Um, as you can see, you can't really see the mask with this on. So what we're going to do, we're just going to swap it out real quick, see if you can see more of the uh, more of the mask. Let's try the. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty damn good, doesn't it? Oh, imagine getting that in the in the shade. Oh, that looks pretty damn cool. So there we go. That that helmet is awesome. Uh, yeah, you've got like a filtered rebreather type thing. Uh, I guess uh, filters cold air so that it doesn't freeze your lungs to death when you're breathing minus 50 air. Uh, you don't want to run in that type of temperature. You can get about 600 feet before your lungs explode. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is some sort of filtration system um, to regulate air temperature. Maybe it's got filters against toxins, hive poison and all that shit. Um, but it's a very cool looking mask, you've got to say, guys. Um, Love the design, absolutely fantastic. Damn, that cloak looks good. The Frumi set's one of my favourite looking sets. Um, I'm tempted to keep that on, but we'll, we'll pop the cloak back on, the original cloak, while we're while we're doing it. So let's, let's, let's look at the arms. Stand over here, stick your arm out. Yes, perfect. Okay, just hold still. Production lead, Raytech R&D. So again, I, like I, love, I love the design here. Yeah, again, we've got asymmetrical design. You know, I like that sort of stuff. So it means that um, this arm is, is a different to this arm and you've got this this like extra armor plate in there and again that would always happen if you say you're holding a weapon you'd have your left side facing the enemy so you'd want extra protection covering like that arm maybe even that you know it, b b back in like the 11th century 12th century when, when we had knights in, in heavy armor if they were if they were right-handed and they'd, they'd face the body left side of the body facing the enemy they'd have the left shoulder plate would come up and cover like quite high, it'd cover most of the, like the neckline when they're facing the enemy to protect the veins and, and, the, ar and the arteries. Um, now it's not quite that extreme, but it's got some, you know, I like this system. Is this another filtration system? It's almost like this entire system, the R&D team have developed um, sort of filter systems to regulate air temperature through through the armor itself. I mean, I mean, I think that's a valid argument for a design piece looking like this. Um, I love the white. Uh, I, I actually love. I mean, well, we'll get onto this in a minute when we talk about the the chess piece. But just look how the cape, uh, the cloak connects. You've got like a, a like a shawl type 
uh, over what you know we've got an arm piece um, it, you know straps on on the left shoulder there underneath and then you've got a, like this this metal buckle and like a, a belt type thing I think it's fantastic how they, the they design uh, the Bungie team design things like this you've got a crest or a, an insignia a stamp there what is that is that some sort of is that Anna, is that Anna Bray or Bray Tech or um, Bray Corp some sort of insignia I'm not sure uh, let's, let's see if we can this is a there we go it's some some type of insignia and um, okay so agility protection I've always subscribed to the idea that armor is useless without both lead engineer Bray Tech R&D yep I like what it's saying there so we've got a metal metal chest plate there that's kind of cool uh, with uh, these metal insignias motifs uh, maybe the signature of the company or the design lead team or something um, the layers I like the layers now I think they've considered this if you look at the side view here the profile view you've got like multiple layers undergarments uh, made out of this sort of waterproof materials that you see in these type of temperatures and even here you've got metal plating uh, additional like leather type armor and again another layer uh, you've got extra support on the ribs that on the rib cages there on the sides on the waist um, nice little tap look at that little tassel there you pull that to tighten the cape or the cloak or whatever you want to call it I mean but the multiple layers looks fantastic okay uh, get down here look at the bullets in the belt you've got like a what is that is that a, is that a radio receiver I think it is uh, this awesome look at, it's awesome belt down here as well multiple packs on the back there magazine ammo supplies probably protein bars and heavy heavy food stuffs and nutrients if you're out in the wilderness I, I love thinking about this sort of stuff when when you're designing because like, I've got a couple of degrees in design amongst other things but two of them are based in design so like this type of detail in like this is how I've been trained to think and been thinking like this level of detail for a long time not that not not that other people don't do it but um, I can appreciate what goes into this from a design point of view because all these details would have been reworked over dozens of times I mean look at look at the boots that, their legs are fantastic probably some of the best legs I've seen like these massive thick protective uh, snow boots on the bottom there look at that looks fantastic you got these um, almost like hockey <laughs> like a, a hockey game uh, knee pads but it looks cool you got a blade in the bottom of the shoe uh, on right leg there these thick snow boots, extra cover. Um, I think it's brilliant. I, th I love this set. I think it's fantastic. I like the cloak, but it's a shame it covers half the mask. I mean, that is a real shame. That because that that mask is fantastic. Um, oh, just just off topic, guys. I don't know if you guys have seen this this one, the Wormhorse Crown. It's fantastic. Um, when you dodge, you fully heal. It's pretty damn cool. Um, but anyway, guys, let's get into the uh, the favorite part of the shade. You know, the shade. Well, not the favorite part, but the shaders. So, what normally happens is once I start uploading, I'll be typing up all the keywords for this arm set. But let's have a quick look. Okay, history polish, polish, polish. polish. Oh, that looks uh, kind of creepy, but kind of cool. Like the orange is cool, but the beige is like, yo, Mr. Seventies dude. It's like when we couldn't quite get white right. You know, <laughs> um, it's like office building white. Okay, midnight task. This is not going to look good. Anything that's not... Oh, no. See, when when you've got gold on material, it always comes out as this horrible yellow. It, it just doesn't look right. It, I don't know, actually. that The grey and the yellow, actually. But I just generally, the, the gold that's applied to fabrics comes out as this weird yellow, like a mustard. But the grey and the yellow, actually. Uh, I'm sorry about the scratching. The cat's deciding to have a shit right now. <laughs> uh, lovely timing. Got someone working outside. Cat's having a shit. Fantastic. Uh, Metro shift. Not that keen. I love this the shader when it uses the the, the light greys and the just off black. When when you apply it to weapons, it looks great. When there's no blue involved, unfortunately, that's all blue. Um, okay, we've got some new stuff. Molten bronze. Um, oh, gross. Okay, guys, we're not we're not spending a lot of time on shaders. If look terrible, buffer overflow. It's that weird pinkish colour, isn't it? That looks actually pretty damn cool, doesn't it? Like a metallic rose gold silver type, you, you know. I, I'd almost want to apply shaders like this, but because of single use, 
I, I just don't want to mess around. Like it really fucks me off that they did this with shaders. Um, so there's the actual Arctic Dreamscape shade. So I can apply this shader to any cloak that I want to. So that won't change anything on the armor itself. But I've got 20 of them. So if I want to change the cloak over now and then, that'd be fine. Uh, this is going to look horrendous. Yeah. Oh, manky blue and yellow is mixed in together. Okay, I know why I always do it and then complain that I've done it, but this just looks so good at like this new monarchy set just looks almost awesome on it, almost everything. Look at the weapon. <laughs> nice. Gold. Solid gold. Looks good. Solid gold and red. What else we got? Okay, let's have a look at the dead orbit. Not bad, not bad. I, I do like that actually. It reminds me of Star Wars, you know like the Empire, that dark, massive grey, neutral, military might of just oppression. And then you've got the, uh, I think that actually, that might look a little bit better with the camo version on. That shit looked good, doesn't it? I wish there were single serve shaders though. This is a real problem for me. Because I'd want to wear that shader. I'm like, yeah, let's do that. And I've actually been deleting some of these dead orbit stuff. Look, I had like 50 of each and I wish I'd not deleted them now. I'm like an idiot. I needed a bit of money somewhere. I've got loads of these. Um... Okay, Iron Wolf. Let's have a look. The Iron Banner stuff. Oh, that looks great, doesn't it? Wow, yeah, that 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 weird, like off, like that's like a. I know it's brown, but it's like a. It's a really nice brown, and it? it's like a a nature brown, like a tree, like a tree, a tree core. You know, it's got. You know, what am I trying to say? It looks like a tree. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I really like that. I mean, there's so many shaders, possible shaders you could have. Um, Okay, my cat had a shit five minutes ago, she's gone back in to try and rebury it or redig it up. You know, the Iron Battalion, not keen on the green versions of this. I don't know why. Green's not, green and blues are not my favourite colours. Um, oh, so look at the monochromatic. This looks good on almost everything, this. Yeah, look at that. That looks pretty cool. Pretty crisp and clean. Looks really good. Um, oh, it looks good on weapon. Yeah, I like that I like that weapon white. I might, I might add that. Since the bright, oh, I think it's naturally. No, I think this that version of the weapon's blue, isn't it, naturally? Okay, Golden Trace, let's have a look at this. You know, I was talking about the carbon nanofibers close up. If you could get close up, you'd see what I'm talking about. So, I've seen other videos very early on. I, I did view this when, I, when I'd shaded it this color on certain sets. That looks pretty damn good, though. Um, that's pretty damn good. Right, let's, have a, let's go for the crazy stuff just once in a while. Yeah, that is so 70s and 80s. Cool, it's like. Early 80s, like, you know, that's, that's like, ooh. Actually, it's, it's more like early 90s, isn't it? When purples and pinks were like, yo, bro, like leaving 80s, coming into 90s. Um, Free Miss Blue. See, it doesn't look good on anything, that shader. It look, the, the, the main Free Miss set and its natural colours look great. In fact, I don't have a natural colours anymore. I've changed it for some reason. Um, just for change, I guess. Um, okay, let's so that's we'll go for the Cirrus Modular Shine. Not bad, pure white with with metallic red trim. That looks pretty damn good. Um, ooh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, we got the Iron Wood. I do like the shader. It might not work on this, but no, it doesn't work on that. It looks great on the Iron Banner stuff. Um, I think we're about done here, guys, aren't we? Oh, actually, let's have a look at the Crucible. This this, this looks. Okay, that that looks okay, but um, now let me try and find the right shader. There's one shader. Oh, I know which shader it is. It's uh, oh, damn it, it, might be this one. It's half blue, half orange. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You know, you can definitely tell it's Vanguard. That looks pretty good. Looking good, baby. So there we have it, guys. Um, we've got the Bray Tech armor. As you can see, looking pretty, pretty damn slick. And I need to make some money so I can apply some shit, so I can apply some mods to it. I think I've gone with the, uh, I think I've, I've mainly targeted the art, um, the art class towards this. It just felt right, you know. We've been white and cold and arctic, and it's got the word arc rider in it. Obviously, it makes pure sense. Um, so there we go, guys. Looking pretty good. Um, just while we're here. Uh, let's have a look. A um, couple of exotic things I've got. Uh, it looks terrible there, but you know, if we get a good, I don't know, get a good shader on it. Not that one. Not that one. Well, that one. Maybe something like that. Pretty, pretty gross and out there. <laughs> um, 
ships, plenty of ships. This is my favourite ship. This is from last season. I caught her as Resolve. I know we're off topic a bit, but I think it's a lovely ship. And then I picked up um, Holborn Splint and I picked up Lost Legend as well, which is really weird. You know, I might fly. I might, might I might fly that just for a bit because it looks so weird. Um, oh, this is cool. This is cool, guys. I've not used it yet, but like, that's a weird looking awesome sparrow, isn't it? Do you know what we should do, actually, guys? I'm if, if we apply that to it. Yeah, I think when we can afford it, I think we'll use that. So, so I've not used this one yet. This is this is the exotic one. When you get the exotic sword and the sparrow, that's the exotic sparrow you get. It's okay. It looks pretty different. It looks pretty cool. Uh, we've got one that looks like Rasputin, and I've got an exotic one that looks like Rasputin as well. So all these different weird, awesome-looking things. But yeah. So there we go, guys. Sorry, just off topic there a bit, guys. I didn't think you'd mind, but there's the arm set. Looking pretty damn cool. I think, uh, I think pr I just, that cloak, though, it's cool, but oh, I just hate covering up the mask. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll be uploading this. Don't forget to hit your no notifications if you want to see more videos. Feel free to share, subscribe, tell your friends. Let's get this channel growing, even though I'm mediocre at best. Um, I appreciate the views. I'll see you all on the next one. So cheers.